welcome to another episode of the Zalicious Cooking Series. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five outfit ideas that you can use to look very put together and still feel comfortable when you are making a meal in your kitchen. Now, ladies, I need us to stop making cooking look like such a daunting and like the most tedious <laughs> task or work in the world. It's not that serious. It's not that deep, guys okay i've seen some women look a hot mess when they're cooking in the kitchen you don't want to look like a scary cat and then if you're married for example your husband and your children should still find you very act attractive even when you're cooking or doing the house chores at home don't save the good looks for those outside save the good looks for yourself and for those who are most 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 dear to you now I've seen a lot of people look so terrible when they're in the house and then make all the efforts to look so good when they're stepping out. I think that that's quite deceptive. I mean, if you really truly say you love yourself, you should actually do for yourself what you would do for others. So when you're going out, if you will look very put together, why don't you look put together when you're in the house? Instead of looking like you just ran a marathon or you just fought 10 giants and you're struggling for breath. Truth be told, ladies, looking put together literally boosts your mood and then improves your inspiration level for the day. And so that's why I always advise that regardless of where you are at, you should always try as much as possible to look put together. So the tips I'm going to be sharing with you today are not just um, outfit ideas for when you are cooking in the kitchen. They are also outfit ideas for when you are in, at home generally. I will share some tips tips as well on how to look put together on very minimally and then now go ahead to sh show you the five outfit ideas that you can um, use to feel and look put together whenever you are in the kitchen cooking so let's get right into the tips shall we but before we do that if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe and join our family and then of course like this video if you liked what you're watching or if you liked what you watched and then of course share with your family and friends that they too can learn something new as well okay all right now let's go right into the tips okay now when i say that you have to look put together when you are in the house i don't mean go full on um makeup um tie gilly or like just look like you would you would look when you are going out no i'm just i'm not saying put on heels in the house i'm saying put looking put together also just entails you um doing some stuff like little things that helps you just maintain your class and your look even when you are at home and so that's what um, i mean by looking put together and the very first tip on my list that helps you look put together when you're at home would be to ensure that you have a bath in the morning when you wake up in the morning have a bath now what having a bath does for you is apart from keeping you clean it wakes up your whole body it wakes up your mood like there's something about water touching your entire body it literally opens your body up and gets it ready for the day you find that you are more alive you are more active you're more inspired your mood is boosted after you have a bath well i know that that happens to me a lot and so that's why i would advise that you have a bath every morning when you wake up before you begin your day so i usually would have my bath after i'm done with my morning prayers and my exercise for the day then before breakfast i ensure that i have a bath and then get right into the day afterwards so ensure that you have a good bath first thing in the morning okay now the second tip on my list for being put together at home is put on some deodorant and body mist so just because you're at home doesn't mean that you shouldn't smell good after taking a bath please take the time to put on some deodorant it will help you stay fresh and feel fresh and, and then of course go the extra mile and put on some body mist that would just also help elevate the your the, the smell of your body all day as well now if you want to take things extra 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 like i do you can put on perfume i put on perfume when i'm at home because i really like to smell good so if you want to be extra like that you can put on perfume but your deodorant and body mist will do it will set the tone for the right aroma the right smell of your body okay all right next ensure you moisturize please moisturize your body you don't want to look so ashy you don't want your elbows and your knees looking white you don't want your fingers looking white just because you're at home 
please moisturize even if you don't have or you can afford a good moisturizer ori works wonders it's very cheap and it's really good for your body so ensure that you just moisturize thoroughly after having a bath so that your body stays shiny your body stays um glowy and then your body is fed with the right amount of um nutrients that it needs to stay glowing so please please and please stay moisturized okay the next one will be to put on some lip gloss or lip balm again that still falls under ensuring that no body part is left ashy sometimes you have very chapped lips and it gives your makes your makes you look very dry and funny so putting on some lip gloss or lip lip balm i would advise lip balm um there's some really good um lip moisturizers now you can just apply there once in a while just to keep your lips very moisturized and give them the much needed um um glow that it deserves okay so please ensure that you use some lip balm even when you are at home okay the next one would be to pay good attention to your hair now ladies this is where a lot of us get it all wrong just because we are at home we think it's an it's the right perfect opportunity or the perfect excuse to have messy hair on that's not okay so please when you are at home you can pack your hair into a bun or pack it in such a way that it's not obstructing your face and then if you wear wigs quite often um, ensure that your cornrows are clean and are neat don't leave your cornrows for months and months on end i used to be very guilty of that <laughs> But now I have changed. I'm a better person now. So just ensure that your cornrows are clean and then you can just leave your cornrows just like that and you don't have to wear a wig in your house. Your cornrows will work. And then, of course, another thing you can do to step up your look is just brush up your edges a little bit with a little bit of gel. It takes you less than two seconds to do that. So instead of leaving your edges looking all rough and tattered, you can just use your brush and then gel to just lay it flat and then you look very pretty all day doesn't cost you anything so ensure that your hair is very well put together okay and then of course if you really like if you're really about jewelry you can put on some jewelry at home maybe a little tiny earring will do maybe earrings like that are tiny like this one will do you can put on um, maybe a wrist chain I like to wear my my Apple watch because it helps me um, count my steps I'm able to check the time really quickly I, I wear this um, neck chain at home all the time it just helps the look even though I just wear it for fun and fancy but it just helps amplify the look of whatever it is I'm wearing and then sometimes I just put on a little bit of a wrist chain so just because I am at home doesn't mean that I shouldn't put on jewelry so wristwatch a chain little earrings and then um, uh, a hand bangle would work again it's your personal preference you don't have to wear jewelry at home but I believe that it just helps amplify things just a little bit now we're moving to the real main cocoa of this video the five outfit ideas of course you have to pay attention to what you wear when you are at home you don't want to be in your 90s all day you don't want to be looking so scruffy and guess what guys you definitely want to change the mindset that your tattered torn dirty clothes are your house clothes or are supposed to be your housewares you need to change that mindset what you would do for me now is go into your wardrobe even now as we speak go into your wardrobe you see all those tattered clothes that are torn by maybe by the neck by the hand wherever any clothes that is torn you need to now pull them all out bring them out of your wardrobe and then go burn them up or you turn them into rag today is the last day you would wear torn tattered dirty clothes in the house just because they are torn and tattered and dirty does not mean that they are your housewear. No. You need to start learning how to invest in proper homewares. They are very inexpensive and they will keep you looking chic and pretty all day long. So throw all those tattered clothes out and it's time to bring in fresh new homewares um, that you can wear at home and then of course you also have to ensure that you um, keep your all your home wears very ironed just because you are at home doesn't mean you should be wearing wrong foot clothes all over the house iron your clothes still look good okay okay <laughs> and then the final tip for this is when you are picking out homewares it's important that you pick out homewares that are made of materials that 
um, make your skin feel comfortable that warm up to your skin very well that feel like a hug when you wear them so materials like cotton materials that are not um that do not easily absorb heat you want to stay away from things like silk chiffon even though chiffon is good you can use silk and chiffon if you know that the temperature in your house is actually always very cold but if you live in a country like Nigeria where our temperature is more warm than cold then you want to stay away from nylon silk and chiffon and anything that doesn't really feel um, or that absorb in, absorbs a lot of heat and then you tend towards getting cotton materials or wool or wool materials do you understand so um, that's one idea to keep at the back of your head when you are selecting um, home wares for you you want things that are comfortable for me um, personally I like home wares that are very comfortable that show a lot of skin so you find you definitely find that a lot of my home wares are quite short they show my legs because I have beautiful legs and I have to show them I mean <laughs> I love home wares that show my legs that show my arms and all of that my my home wares literally they literally show a lot of skin so if you are that kind of person then you definitely want to pick out home wares that show a lot of your skin just like me i want to feel sexy and pretty even in the house so hey i have to buy things that help me feel that way but if you're the type that wants to be covered up in your house from head to toe then it's okay you can also buy things that help you stay covered up from head to toe as well with that being said let me share with you my five outfit ideas that you can wear at home to feel comfortable and look very much put together and you want to slay in the kitchen like so the first outfit idea would be a black gown so it can be a tightly fitted gown or it can be a free gown now a black gown for me just always works because it just um has it's a, it's a neutral natural tone that just um looks really good on my skin and i always love my gowns short if i'm in the house it has to be very very short i prefer the free one to the tight one because the free one just helps you move around a lot better without having to stress so much about um about things so yeah this is a beautiful beautiful home wear sometimes i like to roll up the sleeves of the free one just so that i can show more skin and then i can be more comfortable and then of course do not neglect your footwear you can just invest in a very good um flip flop and you can use it and walk around all day and get a thumbs up at home i mean imagine you putting on the black outfit with your hair all made and look, looking put together your you, your body all moisturized you still look put together at home okay so a black gown would always work for me okay you can never go wrong with shorts and a tank top like it's always 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 would work for um, home wear anytime any day so you can invest in plenty of shots um, you can do Ankara shots and then maybe have your tailor make you some nice um, tank tops so or you can buy tank tops um, from the, from the boutique somewhere have different colors of those and then just mix and match at different times uh, of the day of the week in your house and also shorts and tank tops would always be a winner in my in my life and then it definitely will keep you feeling very comfortable and put together and then of course paired with a nice flip flop and you can even use this to run errands outside your home maybe you're going you want to go by the supermarket or you just want to go down by the streets to get something for yourself you can just use that and walk and, and just run your errands so hey shorts and tank tops would always be a winner in my books for homeware ideas for homeware choice rather the third one would definitely be leggings and you can pair that with a tank top or just a normal white tee top um so leggings if you want things a little longer sometimes it may, it may be it may feel chilly at home and you just want to cover up a bit so i would always love leggings i love the way it just hugs on the skin and then it makes the skin feel really good and comfortable and then it helps you just you can spread your legs even though that sounded so wrong <laughs> But you know what I mean. You can, you can, you can be free with your leggings and you, and a top. It just, 
it just and then of course it just brings out all of those nice curves like hey you get what i mean <laughs> so if you're pairing it with if you're pairing the leggings with a with a free top what you can do is just you can roll up the sleeves of the top just to um make it look fashion i mean be, be at home but still look fashion make it fashion right so roll up the top you can tie a knot on the top just to just to make things look pretty and then just accentuate and show more of your beautiful curvy body parts so that's another idea um, for me so the leggings and the top would always be a winner in my books so the fourth idea would be a skirt and a top sometimes I like to do skirts because skirts just has a way of showing off my very long beautiful legs even though I don't advise you wearing um, jeans um, jeans at home because it's not really pretty this one is actually a jean but for some reason if it's very comfortable and it's just sits very well on my skin so you can do any type of skirt you can do skirts as made out of cotton or elastic or just a skirt and the top would always work and would always make you feel very pretty and one tip that you can um you can add to make things extra pretty you just put a, a leg chain when you're putting on a skirt it takes your look from this to this in seconds <laughs> so a leg chain would always work when you're at home and then of course pair it with some nice flip-flops as well okie dokie so the last outfit choice on my list would be a pinafore or a play or jumpsuit. Now these ones are a little more stylish and I really love the pinafore especially because um, there's just this casualness it gives to um, your look, gives you when you are at home and then it, it, it's casual but a little bit stylish as well and there's so many ways that you can actually pair your pinafore and then you, of course you definitely know that you have to wear something inside, inside you, well if you are really really crazy like some people would you just put on your pinafore with nothing inside and that would also work as well i mean that's a sexy look you're going for you want a sexy vibe especially if you want to tempt, tempt somebody at home <laughs> maybe you want to tempt your husband you get what i mean <laughs> and then of course the jumpsuit as well it's also playful but i find that the jumpsuit kind of uh, it's it's a little bit inconvenient and especially when you want to pee for someone like me who drinks a lot of water i don't really like to put on um, jumpsuits because every time i have to pee it's always a struggle bringing out the zipper and then just try putting it down and then it's just very stressful so i put the jump i wear it sometimes i wear it sometimes so um those are my five um my five top outfit choice for when you are at home remember what i said about um, picking the right materials you have to pick materials that are very comfortable to, you, to the feel of your skin and then you guys please do not wait don't put on rags anymore so that when you have see let me tell you something picture this scenario right you have it you hear a knock on the door co -co 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 -co, and then you start running helter skelter looking for what to wear to look good because you don't know who's at the door why must you do that that's not the, that's not good enough so look good already so that anytime you hear a knock on the door you are comfortable feet dense and you go to the door yes how may i help you because you know you look good don't only look good when you are outside look good when you're inside and look good when you're cooking in the kitchen now you may say winifred cooking ah heat and all of those things it is not true let me give you some tips on how to um, take away the heat so the first one is ensure that your kitchen is well ventilated open up the windows when you're cooking allow fresh air to come into the kitchen if you can afford to buy an air conditioning unit please buy one and keep your kitchen cool while you're cooking if you can afford to buy an, a heat extractor please buy one don't use heat as an excuse to look somehow when you're cooking because sometimes you would even wear clothes that are still not good and you will still sweat so why not just wear good clothes that are good and then again you can also invest in a nice apron apron also helps um, amplify your look in the kitchen as well yeah so those are my tips i hope you found them helpful these are um, outfit choices that i use to stay really pretty and chic when i'm in the house and i love them if you have any more outfit choices for me because i like to look very much put together at home please kindly share them in the comment section so that other people i and other people can learn and, and take some of your tips as well all right guys i'll see you next time in another video until then it's me the queen of fun fast cooking signing out right now take care guys